My Pillow CEO Mike Lindell upset about copies of his pillows being sold online is hilarious. He also reacts to the same January 6 hearings he refuses to watch which is like reviewing a movie you haven't seen. Richard Donahue reveals statements made by Trump, and Don Jr. continues to Don Jr. Select all images with elected officials who cannot spell America. Bobert, 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 verify. Okay, it's not on my end. It's going to be kind of tough. Let's see if you're your dad there. Brandon, yep, are you I'm there? here. I need audio, Logan. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good, good. There you go. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna. I, you're not showing up on my screen. There we go. Okay. I, and you and he says I'm coming in clear, huh? Yeah, you look good. I knew you would. Okay. The biggest broadcast place ever continues to deliver epic fails. You look good. I knew you would. Are you high too, Brandon? Have you seen Mike with his just for morons Rudy Giuliani mustache dye? It is pouring MAGA tears. Mike Lindell makes claims about how his testimony would go down, cries about his sacks of chop foam being knocked off by China, Richard Donahue goes through his Trump notes, Ron Johnson gets caught faking a phone call, plus the latest and stupid from Don Jr., Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, and more. Scarface's slow cousin tweeted, Guys, this is going to be awesome. We'll cover your flight? We'll cover your hotel? We'll cover your round of golf? You'll get to meet President Trump. <sighs> Naturally, I replied, He'll take dumps in his pants. He'll eat burnt steaks in the golf cart. You'll get to see him cheat in person. Golf is the only way Trump's allowed to put things in holes, and he still struggles to make that happen. Now Lindell dumps MAGA tears about knockoffs. The pillow is still online at walmart.com. That's a big lie, everybody. If you go to walmart.com, that's not us. The other day, the other day there was a, the other day there was a, uh, um, the other day there was here, I got to turn off our little friend. Um, uh, they, um, the other day there was a, um, a, a, uh, uh, pillow up there. It looked like my pillow. That wasn't a Shatner dramatic pause. That was Tom Selleck's slow cousin trying to remember what he sells. Uh, pillow up there. It looked like my pillow, but it was made in China. It wasn't even my product. So they used my image. They used the image, not just on Walmart.com, but other places where they'll sell. They'll, you got to be careful because it'll say who the seller is. And uh, believe me, they're not selling my pillow anywhere in Walmart. They shut us out. They canceled us. We're not on Walmart.com. They can put up an image there from China all they want. We found one today from China. That's not my pillow. You order it, you better beware. Just want you to know that when you get a good night's sleep, it's because you received a knockoff. The way to tell you have the real deal is if you're tossing and turning on your futon. If you're getting a good sleep, you got a fake one. Congratulations. Defeated former President Donald Trump continues on his I Failed tour, drenching crowds of morons with spray tan, stupid, and lots of MAGA tears. Okay, so the place goes under attack. I'm talking diehard style. Choose your fighter. Is it going to be guy trying to look like Chumley from Pawn Stars? He totally is. Retired Karen who spends her time confronting her Arizona HOA landscapers and fast food workers. Show me your papers. Crazy dude in a woman for Trump shirt. Yeah. Let's go Brandon fitness instructor or broke back MAGA. Let me know in the comments. The pinched face bikini car wash reject tweeted, the Senate has a compromise on gun control. We don't compromise on the constitution. We don't compromise on our second amendment. If you vote for gun control, you are not on the side of America. Naturally, I replied, this is the same shouty sharp chin and window pane glasses that wanted to image Biden and thinks that booze, dogs, kids, jeeps, and rock walls are a great mix. We cannot expect you to understand what an amendment is when you cannot even spell the country you live in. Here's former acting Deputy Attorney General Richard Donahue. The president, the president said, just say the election was corrupt and leave the rest of me and the Republican congressman. 
So, Mr. Donahue, that's a direct quote from President Trump, correct? That's an exact quote from the president, yes. The next note shows that even the, even that the president kept pressing, even though he'd been told that there was no evidence of fraud, the president keeps saying that the department was, quote, obligated to tell people that this was an illegal, corrupt election. That's also an exact quote from the president, yes. Um, the, the president throughout all of these meetings and telephone conversations was adamant that he had won and that we were not doing our job. Um, but it did escalate over time until ultimately the, the meeting on January 3rd, which was sort of the most extreme of the meetings and conversations. Richard, I have a terrific plan. Just say it's corrupt. I'll take care of the rest. I've got a crack team here. I've got Rudy Giuliani, Mike Pillow, Don Jr., Matt Gates, Ted Nugent, Lauren Boebert. She goes big time. Uh, the worm from Labyrinth. It's going to be fine. Just say it's corrupt. The people will buy it. I'll stay president and I can have all my fame and excitement for another. Uh, what is, is it? Four years. It's four years. Four years. Um, the disgusting, I guess just a charade. I haven't watched any of it yet, and, and I and I don't plan to. It's just, uh, you got this election deflection, what a joke. The MAGA thing of declaring your ignorance is just painful. That's your badge of honor, MAGA, being stupid. Uh, you don't see them having anybody on there like me that can just pour out the evidence. And by pouring out the evidence, he just means dumping all of Rudy's bottle out in front of the committee. There you go. You can just pour out the evidence and say, hey, don't you guys care about our country? We're are you shocked? Are you, are, are you shocked, Mike, that they haven't subpoenaed you to testify? What? You know, they don't want me to testify. I'm going to go, here's the evidence. Come on, it's right here on Frank's feet. What are you doing? Of course the election was stolen. Of course it was stolen because the pillow manufacturer gone mad said so. Also, it's right here on Frank's feet. This is where the evidence is. As I've said before, his evidence that he's shown is just a complaint. It's a Yelp review of the election by the guy who says he could have been a lawyer and drops big words such as subpoenian and defamation. They just sued uh, the two people that were subpoenian election fraud. Um, that was the defamation one that they, uh, um, that was the defamation one that they, uh, you know, I'd go on there, Brandon, I'd bring any one of, a, you know, a hundred different cyber guys. He brought three cyber guys to his cyber symposium, but now he'll assemble 100. Coke Jr. posted a video ranting about toddlers being eligible for the COVID vaccine and has his usual conspiracy hot take on things. I want to know what stocks Congress is buying uh, the second they announce this and probably start trying to mandate it or whatever, because you know it's probably just a get-rich-quick scheme for them. But when do we say enough is enough, folks? Just a get-rich-quick scheme for them. Your family raised $250 million for a fund that did not exist. Trump deceived donors into contributing money to his election defense fund based on claims about a stolen election that even his top advisors told him were unicorn wank. They may have used a different term, but still. I think this is a good time to mention I made these Let's Go Darwin mugs and they've got my MAGA Tears logo on the other side and I've added a The Socks Stay On mug by popular demand. If you want to support the show, I have these, some other mugs and fun stickers, or you can now tip me with this PayPal QR code, the link in the description, or you can smash the super thanks button below. Thanks so much for watching. Back to the show. Okay, fellas, tonight should be a solid time of dusty keys, wild turkey, and loose women. I'm hoping for a couple ladies that will tangle me up like one of those hot pretzels you get at the mall. That's not a pretzel, it's a steak sandwich. I think Ted Cruz needs a cheer up after getting heckled, so let's make sure he gets first dibs. Uh, oh, here we go again, <laughs> giving Snowflake Ted oh, whatever he wants. Take it easy, Junior. You're only here because of your dad. He's only here because he brings the good stuff, and I'm not talking about the crazy looking broad that used to get the meat from Gavin Newsom. Can I get a bump? Uh, Mitch, please. Did everyone see Biden fall off that bike? I literally spent a day just watching that on a loop. Just watch, watch, 
I haven't fallen off a bike since I was four. To be fair, it was in my hometown of Calgary, Alberta, and the sidewalks were, were too frosty for that little Zeller's bike. If you didn't notice, Dan Crenshaw is here, and since he's a first-timer, Mike Pillow is on rumba break, and Dan is the chair mop. Oh, guys, Danny's got the big job! <laughs> Stop shouting, you moron. He's missing an eye, not an ear. Do you really think you can handle this, Danny? You have to scoot around and keep the floor free of random fluids. Back and forth, back and forth with that... Cyclops thing going on. Can I get a bump? Heidi's on the patio getting ready, so I think I owe it to her to pick her first. Uh, of course Heidi's on the patio. <laughs> Does she have a tennis ball and a leash? <laughs> That's not a dog, it's a steak sandwich. Can I get a bump? I cannot believe Walmart joined the, joined all these other retailers that uh, from your bed bathrooms down to your coals and all of them. And, uh, Bed bathrooms. I can't tell if he's gotten worse at Bed Bath & Beyond or he's improved. Like, this was him not long ago. Look at the box stores. They're canceling cancel culture. How, how to HEB and Costco and Bed Bath & Beyond and Costco and Bed Bath & Beyond and Bed Bath & Beyond and... Alex here, still broadcasting from my Patriot Bunker with Marjorie again. Good dude. It has been record-breaking hot here. No thank you, Jewish space lasers. I am praying to American Jesus that our bunker on this here flat earth cools down because the generator has been acting up, which means our air conditioner has been unreliable. So things are a bit musky. Yeah, musky. And I don't mean that, like, Elon is visiting. I mean that there's some excessive sweat and other stuff, and it's definitely... Taken the blonde meat swamp to new levels. It is reaching mission critical right now. But I do gotta tell you, if you wanna get MTG to wear a mask, turn off the AC and let her simmer in her own dog the bounty hunter sauce for a while. Her ankles are swollen, which is obviously horrific. But the swelling is acted like a lock trapping her socks over the hammered spam cans. Because what's the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. The socks stay on. I had her go in the bathroom privately to clean those mortadella stumps, and I had to put on my Bluetooth noise-canceling headphones and just zone out to JFK Q videos because I don't even like knowing that those Freddy Krueger face-looking feet are exposed. Are you done yet, Marjorie? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. Senator Ron Johnson attempted to deliver a slate of fake electors to Vice President Mike Pence to help illegally overturn Joe Biden's election victory. The January 6th committee produced evidence of a Johnson staffer texting Pence's office about fake slates of electors for Michigan and Wisconsin. And here's Ron Johnson pretending to be on the phone to evade a reporter. I can see your phone. I can see your screen. I can see your screen. Fantastic. This is what we're dealing with. I would love to meet this baldy lib in parking lot. No rules. Magateers. Tommy Campbell is working for all these corrupt people from Democrats, governors, and we, the Americans, honest people, we know already which channels and big teach. And social medias are working for all these corrupt devils, demont rats, but all them are down. Because we, the Americans, honest people, we know already which channels are working for all these corrupt people from Democrats, governors, poor YouTubers. Wow. Magateers. You are why we gas prices are out control. Magateers. Can I hit the thumbs down thing twice? Magateers. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those magateers. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. 
be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.